Pitfall for the Commodore 64. You're probably more familiar with Pitfall on the Atari 2600. I think that's probably the system that most people associate it with. Uh, Pitfall is a uh, Activision game. Uh, it was released on the uh, Atari in 1982 by Activision. And it was released on the Commodore 64. It was an actual, a official release. Um, and yeah, 1984 by Activision. It was um, uh, David Crane. David Crane made a pitfall. David Crane made a, a lot of games, uh, including, here's a trivia fact for you. David Crane made a uh, Night Trap for the 3DO. You win some, you lose some. Uh, anyway, so uh, everybody knows uh, the basics of uh, Pitfall, I'm sure. Uh, you can um, go right. Let's see, I'm probably... Or you can go left. All right, that's working. So a lot of people like to go left. Um, uh, as you can see here, the uh, mechanics are uh, essentially the same as the uh, Atari 2600 version. Oh, look at that. Look at me get right on the edge. Well, that's a late, late start on that. Oh, how are we? I didn't even check the sound. That's what I should have been doing. Jump on this here and watch. Eh, is it too loud? All right. I'm really a go right guy on Pitfall, even though um, you should go left. Uh, and and uh, David Crane, I believe in the manual, says you're supposed to go left uh, because, number one, you're running with the barrels or not the barrels with the logs you're because they're rolling from right to left so you don't have to jump as many logs um but the other reason is because if you die uh you always get dropped on the left hand side so you are um uh you, you bypass the uh uh the obstacle that just killed you so yeah i was always a, a go right guy Uh, it, this looks essentially like uh, the uh, Atari 2600 version. Pitfall has, uh, or old Pitfall Harry has a couple more uh, colors to him there. Sounds uh, a little better. It should be because it's a Commodore 64, but not, you know, uh, a game changing uh, uh, better. You know, you get. Uh, uh, you know, kind of that harmony sound. Uh, boy, why didn't, I, why didn't I go left? Who's the dummy that told me to go right? Uh, the, uh, I was, uh, I was definitely, uh, like, uh, of the internet age when I learned that uh, Pitfall could be beaten. <laughs> like, that there was a... I mean, I probably knew that as a kid, you know, but uh, that, you know, there's a finite number of treasures and the goal is to get all the treasures. Uh, and if you can get all the treasures before uh, the time runs out, then uh, uh, you win, right? But uh, I sure... Uh, I don't know if I knew that as a kid, but uh, if I did, I sure never did it. Uh, I never even came close. I mean, like, I always love doing that. <laughs> uh, you know, me and my friends, uh, I mean, if you got, you know, two or three of the treasures, oh, I'm playing, uh, uh, I'm playing on a keyboard just because I was too lazy to do that. Oh, boy, you better get over there on his head. Hey, Tintin, welcome to the party. Yeah, um, you know, it seems like one of those things, and I believe that, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but, um, oh boy. Uh, jeez. The goal of this game is to hit every log, so that's, that's what I'm trying to do. If, uh, 
I'm not familiar with the game. I just run it every really long. Um, uh, do the old campfire. Sometimes there's campfires. There's uh, snakes, rattlesnakes. Oh, that was a bad jump. Yeah, this is definitely one that uh, you could you could speed run, and I believe you know to do it you have to use the tunnel system down there. And of course, you can see there's uh, uh, tunnels below where we're at, and uh, I forget what it is, but I think it was in every every one screen on the tunnel is three above screens or something like that. So you really have to um, oh, watch out there, crocodile hunter. Right into the old, right into the, the drink. Uh, so you have to, you know, use it to skip certain screens, but you can't, you, you got to know when to come up because uh, you can, um, we're going to go this way. Oh, what the heck? Did you see that? <laughs> um, I'm going to do it. Ah, do it again. <laughs> when I was a kid, I didn't think those were, uh, I didn't know they were holes. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was like tar because, you know, the water when it opens up. It was water, so I thought I thought one was water and the other one was uh, tar, but I guess they're they're like sinkholes or whatever. Maybe it's quicksand. You know, there's a couple of different comedians that do bits uh, that I've seen, but uh, uh, I heard a comedian do a bit that said. Uh, uh, quicksand was not as big of a problem as I was led to believe it was going to be uh, as a child. <laughs> like, I, I remember, uh, like, worrying as a kid. You remember that? Like, how do you get out of quicksand? You know? But it uh, turns out I've never, it's never uh, come up. Never had to get out of quicksand. I believe the way that you're supposed to get out is you... Uh, uh, Increase your uh, uh, your body surface, right? You uh, lay down on the quick stand, quick sand, and uh, uh, and that's uh, that's how you do it. I think you have to go further when you're going left. Oh, jeez, Louise! Uh, you got to go further to find your first treasure when you're going left. Uh, and uh, a real bad uh, technique is to start <laughs> right. And then, and then go left for a while. Oh, no. Bad jump again. You know, the uh, the scorpions in this game are like, you almost got to be like pixel perfect. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. But see, I started to the left. Uh, drone doctor. Uh, yes. Oh, boy. I'm going to use all my lives right here. Um. Uh, I kind of I feel like going right's more fun, but uh, I know it's it's the sucker's move. I also uh, watch this. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. Me just playing on crocodiles. Silly. You know what? Maybe it is tar pit. I don't know. It could be a tar pit. Maybe it's tar. Maybe it's a hole. All I know. Deadly to the touch. So, uh, yeah, if I, oh, I don't know, I'm just staying on that for a while, that'll help. Um, if you, uh, um, if you happen to uh, be going to Boat Fest, uh, those guys uh, volunteer their time, oh, and uh, they really, uh, I mean, they just know what they're doing. They've got all the stuff there. Uh, it's really, really uh, uh, a service to the community, you know. So they're all, they're all good guys. Oh, I should have jumped on that when that was there. Oh, look at that. Look at that me being a fool. So yeah, if you uh Drez, are you gonna are you going to Boat Fest uh, this year? If, if all things work out, Big Rob's van uh will be making an appearance. That is uh, that's the currently the plan, let's put it that way, unless something else changes. Uh, that uh, Big Rob's van will be at Boat Fest. 
So this is Pitfall. Everybody knows what Pitfall is, you know. Um, Pitfall here, you run around, you get your... Uh, uh, all the treasures, there's a finite amount of the treasures, and if you get all those before, oh my gosh, look at that. Well, I stopped right in the nick of time on that. Let's see if I can. I don't recommend doing that when their mouths are open. I also don't recommend uh, missing like I did, but. Uh... Oh no, here comes a. The... Ha ha! <laughs> I think Pitfall, uh, Pitfall, oh look at that. Money bags for me, baby. Call me Daddy Warbucks. Oh, call me Dum Dum. <laughs> I got many nicknames in the world of uh, Pitfall Harry. Uh, Pitfall came out um, in uh, 1982, which was the year after uh, Indiana Jones. So I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to do my uh, homework. Uh, Let's just run through that. We'll just run over that. We'll do that. We'll go over there. Oh, the fire's lethal. I'm on my last man, too. Oh, my gosh. But there were... Oh. There were some other similar games, Aztec and some other stuff like that, you know? Uh, but, um, yeah. Pitfall is... Uh, um, Pitfall's uh, a good thing. Uh, it was a, it was a fun game and you know, pitfall. I don't know that, um, I mean, pitfall definitely wasn't the first game from Activision, uh, by Atari, but it definitely, uh, it kind of, it kind of, uh, you know, I mean, it really threw through, uh, game development in Atari's face. You know what I mean? I mean, a lot of the same guys that were with Activision were obviously making games for Atari, but, um, yeah. You know, whenever, when I was a kid, like when you saw an Activision game, you knew it was going to look better than the uh, in-house Atari games. They just, they just did for the most point. So anyway, uh, that's Pitfall for the Commodore 64. Let's, uh, 